All right, I'm Nick. Today, we're gonna to take a few minutes. We're gonna talk about the Wilderness Systems heavy duty kayak car. Now, I'm gonna talk about the ones with the balloon tires specifically because we live in a place where we have sugar sand, loose gravel, all kinds of stuff, and the balloon tires are far superior to the other, we'll call them plastic tires. Uh, we aren't pushing it across parking lots, and even when we do push it across parking lots, the balloon tires do a fantastic job. So. I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna show you some clips where I use it on the big water, uh, the salty, and so on. If you're gonna to wanna to use it with the top water, the way it sits, it has these grooves. Let's see the cart real quick. Uh, it has these grooves that go into the channel of the kayak, right? If you're going to put it into the channel of the kayak, you're gonna notice that the supports right here go into the grooves and then the kayak touches this wheel. That's been a problem with it for the top water and the autopilot. And I had a guy reach out and we made risers that go on the bar for the kayak cart. Now, I'll talk about that in another video. I wanna tell you why we use this. If you guys have seen the old video we did, I'll put a description up here, a link in the description and the information thing up here. We like cradle carts, right? Cradle carts are easy to use and you can strap it to the pedal system. If you have never seen that, I'm gonna show you right now. You can see here, I pull the kayak off of the trailer. It instantly lands on the kayak cart. That's how you should do it. It's just super easy. You can do it out of the back of your truck too. It takes practice. You need to learn how to align the axle to your kayak. Very, very easy though. Just take some practice. Then you put a strap through the PDL drive hole to the axle of the kayak car and then back up to the handle on the pedal system. The reason you do that is now the 20 pound pedal system, all of that weight is pushing down on the car. So you don't have to carry that. And then I, I always see these guys who, they try to pull their kayak, right? And they're like struggling to pull the kayak. You need to push, use your body weight, especially where we live, going across the beach to sugar sand. If you're trying to pull something, your feet will slip, right? But if you aren't 107 pounds, you can lean on the kayak with your body weight and you can push the kayak pretty dang easy, right? You use your body weight, you lean on the kayak, gravity and shit, right? So it moves and then you make your life easier. So here are some clips of all that stuff. You can see us using it on the big water and on the salty. Uh, very, very easy to do. This is an extremely durable kayak car, right? Uh, the Fish and Mate one that we used in the past worked really, really well for us. Uh, had no complaints. The last one actually got left at a boat ramp. It wasn't me. Left at a boat ramp, so she's gone forever. But fortunately, we already had this one in the garage, so we had been using it off and on. Uh, this thing is built way better than the Fish and Mate cart was. Uh, way sturdier. The wing nuts tighten down real, real easy. Well put together, rolls good. I don't really have any. I don't really have any complaints about it. To be honest with you, I think it'll serve us well. We've been using it for several weeks now, and then you know, at the end of summer, when I have used it too many times, I'll give you guys an update on how it's holding up. But I don't see any issues. If you are interested in the risers, so this cart works with your autopilot or your top water easier, uh, leave a comment below or shoot me an email at nick at navarkayakfishing.com. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch.